Hey guys, this is Brendan with Gone Mobile Vans. We're down here, just down the street from the shop in Huntington State Beach. I want to show you our new shop van. It's a 2022 high roof, long wheelbase, Ford Transit, all wheel drive and EcoBoost. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to show it to you. So this van came as a plain white cargo van from Ford. So we had to do something to spruce it up a little bit. So we started working with a designer and came up with a fun design that we think came out really well in this van. It's a full vinyl wrap, matte white with gray highlights, and we think it's an eye catcher. All right, so on this van, we've got the Van Compass Topo 2.0 kit. This is the stage four kit. So we got about two inches of lift on the front and a little bit more in the back because we've got the five spring add a leaf pack in there to give us a little more suspension support in the back for when we're towing trailers. For tires and wheels we got Falcon Wild Peak 245 75 16 tires and for wheels we got the Black Rhino Sequoias on here nice package I like the way they look nice little offset on here and they make a really nice stance in the van. So with these wheels, they do have a pretty significant offset and they won't fit on a non-lifted van. So these wheels require you to have a two inch lift as a minimum to be able to make them fit. Even with that, we did end up trimming the pinch weld here quite a bit to make sure we had enough space and a little bit up front as well. It really gives it a nice aggressive look. So in the front of the van, we've got a CA tune bumper. This thing is a real beast, steel construction. It also has a Warren Zeon 12,000 S winch in here, uh, synthetic rope. Uh, we also have some Baja Designs LP6s up here in the amber style. And these are great. They have a driving light feature. They've got a low and they've got a high setting on there. So driving feature of these LP6s are pretty nice. When you're driving in a group, you don't want to blind the folks in front of you. As for some pod lights here, we've got these brackets from Van Compass and we've got the Baja Designs Squadron Pro on here. They're great uh, clear lights. We got them tilted out a little bit, it really lights up the side of the road. We have all of these lights hooked up to our Garmin power switch. So it's a Bluetooth controller that we can control from our phone that's up on the dash. We can turn the lights on and off and dim them. You can set them to different uh, characteristics as well, but really nice clean solution. So what we have on the top of the van is a Flatline Van Company Low Pro Roof Rack. Really like this design. It's modular, it's easy to install. Mounted to that, we've got a Fiamma F45S 10 foot awning in the black casing. Fantastic for shade and a little bit of uh, rain protection as well. Love this thing, it makes for an extra little space outside the van when you're set up at camp. So in one of my last vans, I had a 270 degree awning and man, it put out a ton of shade, it was awesome. However, it wasn't easy to set up or to put back away. And really, I was the only one that could do it. My wife couldn't set it up, the kids couldn't set it up because it took getting up on the roof rack, deploying it, strapping it up, making sure it was all tight, stuff like that. And then putting it back together and actually stuffing it back in the bag was like a challenge. So although it was great for shade and it covered the back of the van, which is pretty nice, this is the winner in my book now, from now on. One of the things we did on this van was to work with one of our design partners to come up with a CNC cut mountain design for the front fairing on the rack. I think it's a nice little touch and it looks pretty cool. It's an eye catcher. So on the top of the rack, we've got two 100 watt solar panels mounted side by side on the max fan up there. We also have some Baja design scene lights, uh, two on the passenger side, two on the rear and two on the driver's side. We also have those wired up to our Garmin Switch Pro's wireless controller, so we can be out by the campfire. We decide that we need some light or less light. I can control it from my phone, turn them on and off. It's pretty slick. So we opted for flare space flares with this van. We've got the half slider windows from flare space as well. We love how they look on the exterior, but on the interior, man, it makes a ton of space. I'm 6'3", I can sleep sideways in this thing with no problem. It's a total game changer for being able to sleep comfortably and have a lot more floor space inside the van. So winner in my book as well. So we've got an Illuminus Products rear door tire carrier on this Transit. This way I can carry a full size spare on the back of the van. I don't have a spare underneath the van any longer. So it's a nice location to have it if when we need it out on the road or the trail or just down the street sometime. But I really like the way it looks and it's a super solid addition to the van. So with this all-wheel drive system, the van really wants to see a full-size spare. If you have some smaller wheel on there in case you get stuck, you're going to 
possibly best with the all-wheel drive system or the, uh, the computer's not going to be happy with it. So it's best to, if you put bigger tires on this thing, make sure that you have a full-size spare as well. So up in the front of the cabin of the van, this is a 2022. It's got the Sync 4, which has got a 12-inch diagonal screen. I really love it, actually. It provides a lot of real estate for maps, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android, Auto. I like this over the smaller screen. Really, your only options are a little small 4-inch screen or this big screen. Pros and cons to both. Very few physical buttons on this one, so even the air conditioning or the heater, all that stuff is controlled by the touchscreen, which takes a little getting used to. You don't really have the muscle memory of just flipping a knob. Versus the old smaller screen, you definitely have all the physical knobs and buttons for climate control, all that sort of stuff. Overall, I think the larger screen is the way to go. I do like the rear view camera and the 360 view as an option. So up front, I've got a RAM mount system up here. So I'm able to have my phone up here. I've also can add a tablet or a GPS unit. I've got my Hero GoPro on here as well. So we can record some of the footage when we're out and about on the trails. It's a nice solid solution. And I think it adds some definite functionality to the front here. Not many options for phone or other holders of devices. So this is a, a great solution in my opinion. So if you guys remember, this started off as a brand new empty cargo van. And what we've done here is we have a fully insulated floor. We've got insulated walls, ceiling, sound deadening everywhere in here. So starting with the subfloor, this is a three quarter inch thick composite foam and fiberglass floor. It's all CNC cut to fit exactly into the van with dovetail joints in between the three different subfloor panels. It provides nice insulation. It's third of the weight of uh, Baltic birch plywood subfloor. It's waterproof essentially, mold resistant. It's a really nice solution. As for the finished flooring in this van, we went with a product called 2 Tech 2. It's made in Belgium. It's a full vinyl subfloor but it looks like it's a woven texture, but it's a solid layer, so it's water impermeable. Really nice, it's got a bunch of different available colors and options for this, but I'm happy with it. It's a nice texture, it looks good, it adds a little extra touch versus just a coin mat that we use in quite a lot of our vans as well. If you want a really rugged, I'd say coin mat is the way to go. It holds up well to, if this was a moto build or, or mountain bikes, things like that. This, uh, I'm not a bike rider, so this is a little bit nicer in my opinion. It feels good on your bare feet. Still really easy to clean up, sweeps out easy, blows it out with a leaf blower, high quality. Both are really good options in my opinion. It's just more of a aesthetic choice. One of the cool options that we have for our transit customers is this small step cubby. These things are super popular in the sprinter market, but there's really not many options for the transit. So it's nice to have a small little cubby. It's perfect for my dog leash, trash bags, whatever it may be, flip flops. It's uh, a nice little touch. And especially it works well with a doorway galley to provide some more support for the galley. So one of the partners that we decided to work with on this van is Lost Highway Customs. And we were able to work with them to create transit specific aluminum ca overhead cabinets. The profile of the roof of the transit and the walls are different than the Sprinter. And so having custom designed cabinets that fit perfectly was a huge point for us. Really happy to be able to work with them to get these things um, custom made. They're really solid, they're lightweight aluminum. They come with different drawer fronts, uh, can be a bamboo, can be a, a plain Baltic birch that we stained. This is just a fun treatment that we put on there, but solid cabinets, they hold up well, lightweight, and a ton of storage. One of the things I like most about the aluminum construction is that it's welded, riveted, it's, it's not gonna fall apart, and it's much lighter than your three quarter inch upper cabinets you're gonna get made out of wood. So overall, I think it's a nice combination of lightweight, sturdy construction, clean lines as well, but definitely the weight and how well this is gonna hold up over time was the main selling point for us. So our wall panel kits are made out of quarter inch Baltic birch, lightweight and yet strong, nice and resilient, so it takes fasteners really well. We wrap the panels in eighth inch foam and then with, in this case, a marathon fabric. This is the metal color. I like it, it's a little dark, but I like the texture and the look of it. It's a pretty clean looking van inside, in my opinion. Behind the wall panels are kill mat everywhere, 3M thin slate in all the cavities that we can fit it in, fully insulated top and you know on the walls and ceiling. Makes for a quiet van and pretty great thermal protection with all the insulation in there. So this is a pretty special ceiling in in this van. It once again has 3M thin slate up in there, kill mat, 
quarter inch Baltic birch panels, but then we have got another quarter inch layer of EVA foam that's been machined to our specs and our design that then gets put onto the ceiling panels after the fact. So we can make this in different colors, different design patterns. It provides some additional thermal insulation and sound deadening properties as well. It's nice to touch. It, you, bunk your head in there it's a soft it's a, it gives really clean in my opinion and i love the fact that we can really customize this to make it look any way you like it could have a topo map up here it could have anything you can imagine we can machine and have this thing up there and colors that you like it's pretty awesome in my opinion so for power in this van we went with the goal zero yeti 3000x it's charged by the solar panels on the roof. We've got a shore power plug on the outside of the van and it's tied into the alternator. So you got three methods of charging. This refrigerator has been running for six months and haven't turned the battery off, haven't turned the fridge off. It just keeps up. It's been really solid. Everything in here is all 12 volts except for the household outlet on the galley, but the lights, the fan, the heater is powered by that, the water pump, the second fan at the back of the van, Everything is off 12 volts, which means it's efficient in power, and it's really a good solution. It holds up well and powers everything in this van like no problem. So we find that the Gold Zero in this case works for about nine out of 10 of our clients. Small footprint, which allows for additional storage in the back of the van. It's really plug and play, so it makes it easy for us as builders and easy for the clients to be able to navigate after the fact. If you need a big power system to power an AC unit, we build those as well, and they do take up a little bit more space, but that can be configurable for, to whatever your power requirements may be. So one fun little touch for the van is we use our CNC machine to engrave our logo on there. This is our little mini control panel for our Max Air fan and for our interior lights right here. So part of the layout design choices in this van was to incorporate this 60 inch storage box. It doubles as a nice bench seat. It's perfect for lounging in here, especially with the swivel seats on the driver and passenger seat. It's great for hanging out, but it's also got a ton of storage in here. So uh, I've got all sorts of things, chairs, tables in here. Uh, this is also where we put our cassette toilet when we're hitting the road. It fits perfectly in there, really easy to get to. Um, it makes for a ton of storage actually in this van with all of this in here. I mean, that's a, a lot of cubic feet in there. It's quiet. You could even hang out and take a nap up here, chill out. It's perfect for dining and having a little bit of a living room space. So one of the questions we get from clients all the time is, should we go with the Ford factory swivels? And if you can get them from the factory when you order your van, I say absolutely go for it. We have options for aftermarket swivels, but if you can get them from the factory, it's the way to go. So for our galley in this van, we went with a doorway galley. The best part of this thing is a DR85 fridge in the front of this. I love this because you can reach in from the outside of the van when you're setting up camp or you're ready for another beer, you can reach in here without having to climb in the van to get it. Groceries from the store, pop them in there, ready to go. 12 volt once again, so it's efficient and it's quiet as well when the compressor kicks on. It's really quiet. I love how this thing sounds. It doesn't keep us up at night. It's great. On the front of the galley, we've got a drawer here that's got all of our utensils and cooking things like that in here. Solid latching locks in here. The doors don't rattle. They don't slide around. Great construction. So for our galley here, we went with a stock countertop from Lost Highway. This can be replaced with wood or paper stone or whatever you might like starboard on here. We just went with a black aluminum. We think it's pretty nice and solid. We upgraded the sink to a 15 inch Ruvati sink, stainless steel. It's deep, plenty of space in here for doing some dishes, washing up. Got a nice pull down faucet in here to be able to clean up afterwards. Nice little built-in cutting board. I'm pretty happy with this thing. On the front of the galley, we've got a 12 volt outlet for some 12 volt appliances. We've got USB on here as well. We've got a household outlet right here, and this is the switch for the water pump. And turn that on, you can flip the water pump and ready to go. Underneath the sink, we've got storage under here. We've got our trash can in here, and behind that we've got a small single burner camp stove that we typically use when we're cooking food in here. One of the fun little gadgets we have in this thing is this Level Mate Pro. It's a Bluetooth enabled device that you, once you mount it and calibrate it, it'll let you know how level your vehicle is. So if you're trying to set up, get a nice level spot to sleep in, it'll tell you what you might need to do to the right front corner or the left, left back corner. Neat little display on, the, on your smartphone and it's Bluetooth and rechargeable. Cool little device.
We went with an AM Auto half slider on the driver's side in this van. This van didn't have solid glass on the outside, so we opted to add another window. Love these windows. We like the way they look on the outside. They look like they're OEM and they're designed to fit there. They slide open quite nicely, provides plenty of airflow. It's got integrated bug screens, so and they all come with that come with the bug screens and I think that's a huge benefit. A lot of light, a lot of airflow, perfect with the max fan on to get some breeze through here during the day. Really happy with these windows. So for the bed in this van, or the mattress, excuse me, in this van, we went with a five inch memory foam mattress. It's been custom cut to fit with flare space flares in the van, and it's been wrapped in a sunbrella fabric by one of our vendors. Really comfortable. I'm able to sleep in here perfectly sideways in this van, and it's overall, it's 80 inches this direction and 60 inches wide. When you order flares from Flare Space and you get their integrated windows, they actually ship them with window covers. These are made by Van Made Gear, good quality insulated window covers. They've got magnets that stick onto the aluminum frame of the windows, and then these will snap right in place and provide you nice little insulation and blackout shades when you're trying to get some sleep and some privacy. We went with the Lost Highway Customs 60 inch tall fender boxes for this van. It allows for sideways sleeping, essentially that work great with the flares. Tons of storage in these boxes. On the driver's side, we have our power system in the back, which is the Gold Zero 3000X. We also have an S-Bar gasoline heater inside here that vents out right here. This is a two kilowatt heater. It provides plenty of heating for this size van. It's got the Easy Start Pro controller right up here. We're able to set timers, schedules, turn the heat on and off, adjust it, tell it how long we want it to run. It's a quiet heater as well. It's got a new brushless motor in this thing. So it's nice and quiet and it provides a ton of heat for a perfect space like this. So what's great about these heaters is whether you got a gas vehicle or a diesel vehicle is that the fuel source is from the fuel tank. So we don't have to worry about a secondary fuel source. It actually ties into the stock fuel tank and sips fuel. This thing will run for 24 hours on less than a gallon of fuel. Super efficient. The Goal Zero powers the fan and the air movement and the controls for it, but the heating source comes from the fuel tank. So with these tall fender boxes, it creates basically your tall bed system. We've got three aluminum panels here that slot into place uh, spanning the gap between the two boxes it makes for a super solid platform. The mattress folds right down. They've got integrated slots in here for air movement on your mattress and also cutouts for l track fasteners so you can actually strap things down to the top or underneath if you want to sling surfboard underneath. That's all possible with this bed system. So what's great about these tall fender boxes is the second level of storage. So underneath we got the utilities. On top we've got additional storage. Plenty of space for sleeping bags, chairs, bedding, whatever you need. Typically on this side, we've got all of our pillows and down comforter in this side. So during the day when we're out doing stuff, it doesn't have to be up if we don't want. You can fit storage, you can put your backpacks in there or your duffel bags, clothing. It really, the options are endless with this thing. I love it. On this side of the van, we've got a 20 gallon wheel well water tank from Northwest Conversions. All of the rest of the plumbing, water pump, everything is all inside this box. The door opens up here for the water fill right there. And also this is for the spray down shower out the back. This is ideal for a quick wash down at camp after a few days or coming back from surfing, you wanna rinse off the boards and get all the salt water off of you. Dogs, bikes, it's a key setup in my opinion. So after you've washed your hands of the sink, the water drains into an undermount 16 gallon gray tank, which has an electric dump valve on there. So when you're in an appropriate location, you can push a button and have the tank drain. Super clean and simple and uh, low profile. You don't even know the tank is there. All right, guys, that's it for the tour of our new 148 all wheel drive transit shop van. Sure hope you like the content. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you like a van like this, why don't you hit us up on our website and we'd be happy to talk shop. Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.